This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures, and paints, discount prices at MiniatureMarket.com. Hey everybody, welcome to Painting 101. Well, today we're going to take a little trip. And we're going to talk about getting some of the bare minimums to start some of the things that we're going to do because it is a slow build in process. And like I said, this is very for the very basic beginner, but it'll work its way up to where other people can join in and really get something out of this. So today we're going to go to Joann's, but you can go to a Hobby Lobby, you can order from Miniature Market, any place that you want to get any kind of hobby supplies, an art store, anywhere. But today we're taking a trip to Joann's. Why don't we get going and uh, I'll okay. meet you guys there. Here we are at Joann's. And we're just getting some supplies to get started with some of the things that we're going to be doing. Like I said, we're not going to start right with a model right away. We're going to go and show you the basics, the very basics of painting and how shading and things like that all work together along with dry brushing. To start your work area, you want to have your work area. Now, you can come and get one of these things, but that's going to bring the price of things, especially if you don't know if you want to do this or not. But they have these really nice mats, and the reason you want to use these things is if you spill paint, it's not going to leak through. If you just lay newspaper or you have a towel down, it's going to leak through onto a table and you know what's going to happen to your significant other, no matter who he or she is, is going to have an advantage on you and be able to pile on you and we can't have that. So what you'd like to do is possibly even get a piece of cardboard, cut it out to your work area and at least have that so if you make a spill or a mess or anything, you can pick it up. The other thing is you can get yourself a brush bowl if you want. I didn't see any here, but a simple cup to start with is perfect for exactly what you need. But let's go get the important stuff that we really need. Let's go take a look at the paints and some of the brushes that we may need. Now here we want to keep things really, really simple. There are so many different brushes and so many different paints. We're going to be talking about those and we're going to be talking about paint and brushes onto itself. But for starting, for learning technique, that's where we're going to start and then we're going to break everything down from priming and all that other stuff, airbrushing and everything like that. All you want to do is get like a simple, simple multi-pack of nylon brushes to start with. There's a reason for it, it'll all make sense. The other thing that you want to do is you just want to get some basic colors of paint. Now, don't go get the really, really cheap stuff, okay, this, this craft essential stuff. That's, I think it's like 60 cents a bottle. It's too watery. We could use it, we can get by with it, but if you have to keep your budget down, you're gonna wanna try to stay with a folklore. And what you wanna do is get a basic white, a black, make sure they're flat blacks, okay? Um, uh, primary colors, blue, red, um, yellow, those to start with. Get a silver and a copper. That's all you need. Now you can go to Miniature Market and you can order the more expensive paint sets. There's some great paint sets out there and you can find them if you feel that this is something that you're going to do. Another thing that we really want to get our hands on is a palette, especially if we're going to be using drip paints. We're going to want to mix paints. We're going to want to do different things and there's all reasoning in this that you'll see next week when we actually get to the table. So in that essence, that's how we're going to kind of start with just very basic things. You can do it with your more expensive paints, your Game Workshops, your Vallejo, your Army Painter. They have very nice sets. They're pricey. But if you don't know if you want to paint, then what you're going to want to do is kind of start with these kind of basic things and keep the cost down. So if you feel you want to move on to those things, as we move on with the segment, you'll find that it all works. Okay, so one of the things that we're going to start painting on are just very simple things. We're not going to start with miniatures. I want to show different kinds of variances of things. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of get like blocks and just any kind of round wooden things. Anything that you may find at your local craft store will be perfect. But I really suggest these blocks. I mean, they're only like a couple bucks. They're like two bucks. You get these, and that would be perfect for us to get going and get started. Well, there you have it, our little trip. Now, as you can see, we didn't talk a lot about paints, okay? I do think that you need to stay away from those 69-cent 
uh, paints because it's just not going to get to where we want to get for for this kind of beginning kind of thing. And, and the cheaper paints and the blocks, it all makes sense next week when I, we start talking on how to apply paint onto a surface and why we do what we do and the reasoning behind everything. It's going to help you when, it's going to give you vision when it comes to painting figures. So starting with the blocks and the little round things is going to make a big difference. So next week I'm going to show you what we're going to do with all the materials we got. Now again, if you are really psyched up to do this and you want to get yourself uh, one of those nice little paint sets uh, from Army Builder, which is a great deal. Um, uh, GW has a paint set for about 30 bucks which is uh, you know pretty good and they're better because they have the flip tops and, and then you kind of learn them on how much paint because when you start squirting paint out of those bottles you're gonna find that that you're gonna put too much and you're gonna waste a lot especially at a beginner space that's why some of the GW's really work because it just sits in the pot and you can pull it from the pot now of course there's Vallejo and Army Builder and um, God uh, there, there's so many great painting companies that, that put out great paints. If you can find yourself a deal, check on Miniature Market. They have great deals. Or check different sites or any place, Amazon, you know, wherever you think that you can get. Of course, I'd rather have you get it from Miniature Market. But what I did when we went to the store today was look where we can keep this under 20 bucks. A big bag of decent nylon, nylon um brushes will cost you about anywhere from seven to ten dollars you don't want to get those bristle ones and you could see how cheap they are okay they usually have a, a good colored uh, handle so you'll know it's a good nylon and you'll you, it'll look good you want small ones you want a little bigger ones and you want the fan one because those are the ones that we're going to use and we're going to teach technique with that and before we go out and get good brushes let's screw up on some cheap brushes I think that that helps a lot and with the paints like I said basic colors but make sure the most important colors are white and black now I know you're thinking primers and all that stuff we will get there but let's just start with what we were talking about today okay and keep it the cost down so we can work on and make a lot of mistakes so we can get better so Next week, we are going to finally start getting all our materials out, and we're going to start painting, and I'm looking forward to it. So, guys, go out and get what you need. I'll meet you here next week, and you'll have an easy follow-along on how to do certain things, and we'll explain a bit on how this all works. So until next time on Painting 101 Remastered in HD, I'm Rob Warren. We'll see you soon.